You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to check out the Nickelodeon Make Your Own Gek. Now, I had no idea this actually existed until a couple of weeks ago when I saw it and thought, hmm, I don't have that. I've never done it before. Where has this been in all my searches? Now, this time I had searched Vintage Gak, and this came up. So I'm pretty excited about it because I've done every other Gak set. Hopefully they show them on the back already. Well, at least I thought every other Gak set. So let's see. Make your own Gak lab set. Make it smell different colors, glow in the dark, or mix and match. So I guess you could say this was way before the slime craze from three or four years ago. By Mattel, let's see, it's easy as combine water, tablet, and gak powder. Mix them all together, and presto, you've just made scented, colored, or glow-in-the-dark gak. So I hope everything is good inside the box. It is still sealed. Let's see, that is the side with consumer information. Let's see what they have. Oh, that's the bottom. Not much there. I'm interested to see what's on the back. It's a pretty cool looking GAC machine there. It says H2O up there, and it looks like some kind of pump. I'm not sure yet. And then maybe a tube that runs into this section. All right, create oozy, squishy GAC just the way you want it. Just mix it up, add a little imagination, and presto, GAC appears before your very eyes. And, you, and as you mix it, listen to all those blurping noises. Well, that didn't sound too good. Let me read that again. Just mix it up. Add a little imagination and presto, Gak appears before your very eyes. And as you mix it, listen to all those blurping noises. See, that sounded better. And then let's see, two odorific smells, four bright colors, make it glow in the dark. Scents and colors may vary. And there's a blurp there. Mix colors and stretch and twirl them into twisty patterns. Experiment with colors and smells and see what you come, come up with. Anyone for a purple pizza? And just in case you need to find your gack at night, make it glow in the dark. Now this is from, where's the year? Give me the year. Where's the year? 1995. Do you think everything's still good in there? I'm not sure. I will see. Now I need to carefully get into this box because it is sealed and vintage. And I've never seen the set, so it's probably pretty rare. So here we go. Let me just get through this glue here. Nice. Okay, not too much glue. Sometimes they put so much glue on there. All right, so here's all the pieces to this nice vintage set. Those look like little capsules for the, uh, like a vending machine. So that's probably where you store it, right? I recently did a video on vending machine capsules. They're actually doing pretty good on uh, YouTube. Okay, here's everything in there. Here's the instruction sheet. It's got a nice yellowed, vintagey look to it. Make your own gag. How it works. It's got a very vintagey smell to it, actually. If there can be such a thing as a vintagey smell, that's it. Looks like a pretty elaborate system with a goofy looking gag character on top. Oh, look at all that. Pretty neat instruction sheet, huh? Would you say so? I would say so. Oh, I had it the wrong way anyway. All right, so. You've got that, you've got that, this. There's that cool looking little thing. H2O. Another little thingy. There's the character. Pretty neat. It's the only one I've ever seen, actually, of this set. There's that. Some cool looking stickers, that my capsules and then this pack now it looks like for the most part everything is intact let's, let's check it out i'm excited hopefully you're excited too i've done almost every gak product ever made on the market now i haven't done every single color i will say that so there's a part a still seems okay Another part A, let's see, a little yellow tablet, a blue tablet, a magenta tablet, an orange, eh, kind of pinkish now. This is bubblegum, this is green, a little faded, and this says banana. Those are all the scents of colors. 
Colors and scents. Banana, bubblegum, green, blue, magenta, yellow, orange. Now orange could be a color or a scent. Here's a Part B mix. Now these look a little, little iffy. So I may just try to dry them out a little bit. There's another Part A, Part A. Lots of Part A's all look good. It's the Part B's I'm worried about. Okay. Oh, and there's a Poiple. And here's a bunch of bees. I thought I heard some stuff in there moving around. Yeah, it's in there. Listen. So I might be able to salvage some of this powder. All right. Let me just uh, see what I have to do here. Go over the instructions. It's quite intense, actually. There's the setup and all the pieces. Let me go over all that. Get that set. Gag Secret Formula 1. Press funnel onto neck of litter shirt. Okay, let me just review. Come back. I gotta have water, right? Don't you think I need water at some point? Three, snap plunger, da 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 da, pump a push down on balloon, on bellows to pump water. Okay, so yeah, I'll need some H2O. Uh, I guess that makes sense, huh? H2O, right? I'll be right back. Okay, I have some things organized, but I wanted to show you the. Oh, my countertop. I think that was like little stuff left over in the box. I don't know. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see, what do I want to show you? I want to show you, well, the sticker sheet. So make your own gag. I'm going to use it, you know? Where I want the whole vibe, the vintage vibe. So this one goes right here. Make your own gag. Now, it's not even too sticky, so it may come off at some point. All right, so the fill goes on this one to this line. It looks like this is the fill line to this. So there's a fill sticker. Okay. And then these go around this base. There's three spots for it. One. Two. three there now we've got the cool vintage vibe all right I kind of set this here so you can kind of see what's going on so this is the funnel goes to this there's no notches or anything it just looks like it's pressed in then this goes on this and through this into some little base thing which is this now that has a notch in it so there it is does it just snap in? It says snap plunger onto end of rod, squeeze hard to snap in place. Oh, I always worry about this old plastic and stuff breaking on me. It almost looks like it's got to go under and in. Where's that slot? Okay. Really? You want me to just snap it in, huh? Wow, I'm putting a lot of pressure. Come on, come on. Not snapping in. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it shows. Snap plunger into end of rod, squeeze hard to snap in place. All right, I'm going like this, squeezing hard. I wonder if I should just get a tool. I think that's what I'm gonna do, get a little pliers, line it up just right, because it's not snapping in. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a tool called a Robo Grip. I don't even know if they make Robo Grips anymore, but it squeezes, but it doesn't squeeze to where I think it's gonna hurt the plastic. Just like a little grippy there. Always wonder who designs these things. Really, you're gonna make it so that someone has to try to Squeeze to fit. There. Okay. Ah, the challenges of this. Okay, so that's done. They don't show this again yet. The bellow. Okay, so I need this interesting looking device. Like this, it looks like. And then this goes on this section. Hmm. 
They really don't show it too well. I think this goes on here. It's upside down the way they have it. This squeezes on here. Really? Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, it's kind of weird the way they have this on here. They show you putting water in first. Wait. Fill container with clean warm water. Snap bellows into top of container over sink in case of excess water spills. I must have missed that when I was reading. I got some water here, so let me add that and do that right here. Okay, warm water. So they want the water in there first before you put the bellow on. Yeah, I see what they're saying now about it spilling. So it's harder to do this way, not being over a sink. There we go. Okay. Let me wipe that up real quick. That's why they wanted you to do that over a sink. Okay, so that is set. And then bellows all right so this is going to go into this so we need all of this now this goes into here okay so there is a little notch here this looks like it's going to go on to here that sits in there and then this oh, okay so let's see this somehow locks into this cool looking little toy okay i see now there's a little notched area I got one of the notches in there. I think I got it that time. Okay, so that's in, that's in, that's locked in. All right, check that out. So this must be some kind of like masher mixer. This looks like it popped off just a little, so that could be a problem. There we go. All right, All right so that's set. I think we got it. We got the cool vibe. Let me just, uh, Show you what it looks like from this perspective. So that's how we got going. Make your own GAC with that neat little plunger system on there. So it looks like I'm going to plunge it to the fill line here. And then I know it's filled and then add my stuff. So let me do that. I will come back now. Go over this one more time. I thought I did. but I'm going to read it one more time just to be safe. I will be right back. Ooh, take a close look. Pretty neat little system. All right, here we go. Everything's nicely organized in the back. If you didn't see it earlier, I didn't have it on camera. It's all set to go. Now, they want you to pump it with water, warm water to that line. Then insert tablet of choice, see formulas on back, into funnel opening. So you're right into the top section right here. So this is our little mixer and mixer handle, okay? And then pump handle up and down until tablet is completely dissolved. Caution! Do not mix solutions too vigorously as they may spill and stain clothing and surfaces. They don't want you to go nuts there. And then pour powder A into funnel. Pump handle up and down until mixture thickens. Mix thoroughly for at least one minute to avoid gak from turning out to be runny and messy. Then pour powder from uh, part B into funnel. Pump handle again. Gak it. Keep pumping handle vigorously up and down at least one minute until you hear a rude sound from the beaker. This means gak is ready. So it's gonna go bloop or burp or blurp, whatever you wanna say. Unscrew it, remove handle, pull gak compound from beaker and plunger. Roll gak in your hands for a few seconds to form into a blob. Nick tip, if gak is runny or sticky, leave it out for a while to firm up. You've made your own gak. Store gak in container when done. Here are the different recipes or formula, secret formulas. So I need a colored tablet. Let's do something with some color. Let's do magenta, and then I'll need an A, which appears to be good, and a B. It's weird. They're almost wet. It's hard to believe. It's been in that for so long. I hope this works. I really do hope this works. Okay, so fill water. Mm, now you know all the steps. Okay, so fill water to line. Let's see. Do not overfill. Insert tablet and dissolve. All 
Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's give you a nice closer look inside my deck maker. Here we go. Here's the Tamlin. Okay. So I gotta completely dissolve it now, so here we go. If there's any edits, it's just because. Ooh. I wish it said break up tablet first. It's slowly starting to break apart. All right, tell you what, let's just hang out together. You can watch, I'll record. I may leave the original sound, I may not. A little too vigorous there. Gotta add a little bit more water. Came out of the side. Okay. In fact, I'm going to clean that off. I didn't think I was being that vigorous. Was I that vigorous? Looks like I was a little too vigorous. Okay. Okay, next time, break tablet first and put powder tablet in. It is not going anywhere. Slow. All right, well. change in pitch. Not aggressive. Aggressive. Yes, it is slowly. Can't see it anymore. I'll be honest with you, it does smell like gack. That's a very unique smell. I may have some gack nearby where I can show you what True gag looks like. I'm hoping that maybe twisting will work it through those little holes there. Oop, okay, it just broke. Okay, I feel it now. It's getting there. there yeah there's a little little chunk still in there I'm bending it I think I guess having it in tablet form makes it a little funner for a kid back then 
But from my perspective, I think that should just be another powder, right, that you, you put in there. I can't see. How do you know? All right, well, keep going. All right, I'm going to stop recording here. I'll go a little longer, and then I will come back when I think it's completely dissolved. Okay, something in my mind is reminding me of SpongeBob, where you get that little 20 minutes later, and that's what I feel like I've been doing this for. But I feel like now it's thicker. It looks almost creamy in a way. I don't see, it goes all the way down to the bottom. Well, the camera angle's kind of affecting that, but that look. I think I got it. Okay, let's look at powder A. Ooh, powder A. <laughs> I have a little bowl of powder A, just so that we can look at and see. All right, I'm gonna have to cut the whole top off of this, I think. I usually try to save the bags as best as possible, but let's see. get my little spoon here. Okay. So now it's saying, remember, pour powder A into funnel pump handle and down, pump up and down until mixture starts to thicken. Okay, let's see, here we go. Ooh, you can't see. I'm trying to get you to look at, you know, the best angle. Maybe it's when it's right there. All right, here we go. So it's at least one minute. And from my previous experience, I'm just gonna go till it feels like it's thicker, but right now it's not thickening up. A little bit, maybe it is. Okay, it has thickened up. Yeah, definitely like a creamy, um, you could feel it too with the pump as you're pushing down. It's like a, it's almost like a cross between pudding and like a, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, syrup, like a syrup. Okay, I think we got it. I'll go a little bit longer, can't hurt. Well, look at the funny face up there, the gat guy. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Look at me, look at me, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy making gek. I'm happy making gek and gek and gek and gek and gek. Alright, now powder B. Let's see. Let's use that same thing. Now hopefully, this is the one. How they're still how they're moist in the box after so many years, I have no idea. Oh, it's still good. Let me see if it's stuck inside there. Okay, so this pack I'm going to cut along the back so I can extricate the additional mix. So this is like a straight white powder. Now, because of the age and consistency, I may have to add two packs to one to maybe make a difference. So pour powder bean funnel, pump handle again. Wow, it is so thick now. I don't know if you can tell from me doing that, but here we go. I see it, the little white kernels here. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go till it makes a 
blurps out. It's definitely thicker. You can see it here kind of sticking to the sides. I'm kind of angling this to get it to catch the side. Ooh. It's working. I hear it. I heard a blurp. Okay, so that is ready. This means your gack is ready. So now, Pull the GAC compound from the thing. Okay, yeah, look, it's starting to pull itself away from the cup altogether. Okay, let me get a little plate. I want to pour this on a plate, study a little bit more, and uh, play with this new GAC. Okay, it's an exciting day at the GAC factory for my first ever GAC batch for my GAC. Make your own GAC set. Oh, look at that. A little thinner than what GAC would be, but they did say you might have to leave it out, so it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty close. Probably a little thinner than GAC should be, but I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit. Clean this all off here. Okay, let's do this. Let me clean up, make another batch. Now that we know the system, that looks pretty cool. Let's see if it comes off that. Will it come off my fingers? It does, okay. It's sticky. Okay, let me let that sit. Let's come back now, I'll rinse it and I'll make another color. Maybe we'll do a scented one next. Okay, banana scented gack. Now I'm gonna make four gacks for you today. So this is just the uncolored scented gack. Let's pump some water in there. I reheated the water up. I got fresh water in there. Okay, this time I'll be a little more careful. Now I'm gonna take this tablet, the banana, I chose banana for the uncolored scented. Put it in here. Hard to see, because it's a white tablet in a white bowl. But let me just see if I can cut it first, get it a little broken up, here we go. Okay, and that little piece that shot off to the side. Now let's see if that's easier to break apart in there. So pour it in. And well, let me just double check now. Okay, formula number two, put the scented tablet in. Yes, now break that up. Here we go. Okay, and then now down here. So you can see all the little pieces in there. It'd be easier to see now what Now that it's just clear, what's broken down and what's not broken down. So I could push. When I push, it does help. It sounds crunchy. How am I going to get that big nugget? Go. Well, there you see it. I have not put my nose near it yet to scent the banana, so 
So I can't tell you how banana scented it is. Okay, so that piece is down there. There we go. Mmm, love that crunchy sound. What do you think? That's pretty good. It's got, yeah, maybe there's a little pink left from the last one. I don't know if that's... I washed it pretty good. Maybe it was in the little crevice there of that piece I snapped together. All right, part A. Here we go. That other gack looks great. Now, I found one of my gacks from maybe a couple years ago. Still original in the pack. I did a video of it. So I'm gonna bring that in at the end so we can kind of look at it. Now this I'm not gonna break up like I did. You just pour it in. Until it thickens up. There's a little bit stuck in here. I wanna try to knock that down. Ooh, I smell the banana now. It is a really nice banana smell. I smell the banana. Okay, so next is the part B. So what do you think? Does this uh, have that look of gack to it? I'm not sure. What do you think? I think it does. Either way, it's fun to make. Okay, so I think we have that consistency now. That mushy, gushy gack. Okay. Now, part B, I am going to put in the bowl because this is the one that's got a, it's a little messed up. This one looks like it came out pretty good. It's actually moist. What could that be? What do you think? Being in the box for that long. Now they weren't sealed in plastic. Well, they were, no, they weren't really sealed in plastic. They were in a bag, but that looked like it had air in it. Okay, here we go. It's like a little chemical lab. That's what I feel like I'm doing here. I'm turning it around so that I can see all the little pieces. Like I see a bunch there. Got that. Smells good. Banana scented gear. Came right off. All right, let me grab a little plate for that one. Let's get this one out. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one sit. It does seem, I mean, I got the sound they said, but it does seem like it's a little, oh, there is a little pink still in there, so it must have been hiding somewhere in there. This. I'll wash it out a little bit better. Okay, there's that one. Is it playable? You could play with it, I guess. 
I mean, the slam aficionados would say, no, need more activator, need more activator. Let's see this one now. It's been sitting for a little bit. Okay, now next I gotta do a scented color slime. I mean, gack. That one's better. Perfect. It's definitely playable. Okay, moving right along. Let's make the next one. Okay, rinsed and ready. I am going to make purple bubble gum. How does that sound? Let's fill the water. And two tablets. I've got bubble gum and I've got purple. Now I was thinking before I uh, started the camera again, I'm like, you know, this is probably the rarest set I have ever seen for Nickelodeon. Now, I'm sure, well, there's always somebody that may have done a video of it. I don't know. I didn't even look. It didn't matter to me. It was do my own thing, show you what I learned. Okay, so now technically speaking, I'm just going to cut these a little bit carefully just to get them slightly started. Now this is going to take even longer to break up because there's two tablets. Yes, I know. Uh, Butch is over my shoulder saying, careful! All right, here we go. That's all we have is time now, so I am going to, I don't know. Maybe I'll record it. Sometimes I just don't know. I usually record everything and then split some out. So here we go. Freshen up the water again. If I was the kid in, what, what year was this again? 80 something, uh, what did it say? 95, 1995. You know, ooh, I smell the bubblegum. But I'd be saying to myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna make yak all day. I can't wait. Or would you just go to the store and get some regular yak off the shelf? Keeping a clean gack machine. I must have spilled. I don't know. It was from the washing. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of like dripping. It's not sealed here. That could be it too. So that's why they're worried about you going a little mixing overboard. There we go. Crunching. Trying to get those big pieces to slip. There we go. There's one. Come on, get in there. A little too big. But it's turning nice and purple. Purple. There we go. I found the secret. Now this piece uh, does lock in. So I was looking at it closer when I was washing it. You gotta line it up just right to get that to lock in.
Oh, there's still a lot of the scented stuff in there. Oh, well. I was worried about the water line, but it still looks pretty close, so I'm going to leave it. Bunch of little ones. My bet is that over the years, the, the ability to just easily dissolve has lost itself from these little pellets. So that maybe they're a little drier or... Maybe, I don't know. They sure don't seem to break apart real easy. All right, so I think I've got that pretty good. Here's some right there. See them floating around in there? Just when you think you got it, you're not happy. So pack A. I guess my goal now is to make every color and every slime uh, gag possible with this. I keep saying slime. Because technically, it was the first slime, wasn't it? Okay. Because I've got it now, the toys apart, I mean, in, out of the box, it's ready to go. Why not just make it all? I'll probably not revisit a set like this again. I'm sure you want to see all the colors, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going.
Look at that, that's so cool. I mean, I've done so many sets over the years, it's always nice to see one that's so nicely done. Smells good. Saw a couple little nuggets still in there. Very playable. All right. Not playing right now. I will play at the end once I get them all done. So let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. Now the glow in the dark one. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's this green tablet. Here we go. Water all the way to the line. Okay. I wonder if I just smash it in the bag. What do you think about that? If I take the tablet, you will see it right here on my tabletop. Instead of doing that, what if I just do this? Like right here, will it smash? Will it smash? It does. Now look at that. Who was saying, it's obvious, Dave, you gotta smash it before you take it out of the bag. I know. I know, I know, I know, here we go. Here it is, the first glow-in-the-dark gack ever made on camera by me right now, and you are watching it. Here we go. <laughs> I almost want to have some YouTube music in the background, but... Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to YouTube now. Can I get the YouTube music real easy? I don't think so. Mm, all right. But look at that. Already dissolved and ready. That just sped up the process tenfold. Okay, now we cut open pack A, which I squished and softened. I'm not getting what's going on here with this little thing on the top of his head. There's, I guess that's the handle, right? So you can grab. Almost looks like you put a straw in there, but I know you don't. I know you don't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. So after this, I have three more colors. It says orange. Glow in the dark, which I did not realize. Here's a yellow. And here is a blue. So I'm going to make them all. Now that I know I can get it done that fast. I'm gonna cut that one open. I think there's some remnants in there that I can utilize. So you just go till you get the sound.
Okay, there we go. Another one down. Big chunk in there. Hmm. Okay, so my speeded up process did not work as well. All right, go back to the old way. Take your time, just relax. Do it right or don't do it at all, right? Let me see if I can break that up a little bit. Down here, down here, down here. There we go. What was that? Was that one of the powders that didn't get uh, completely mixed or? I don't know. Can't tell now. It almost looks like the tablet didn't. But that was totally broken down. So I think it's one of the powders. Okay, I will fix this, it's almost ready, and I will come back and do the next one. I'm still here, I'm just being quiet. Part A. Ooh, it looks so good. I like the blue. It almost matches the set almost exactly in color, doesn't it? <laughs> Two more after this. It looks like I'll have one extra pack of each A and B part. I guess that's how they calculated it out. So you had enough to make one of every tablet, and then you had a little extra just in case something happened. Gonna mix it a little longer than I did the last one. This one's really bad. This part B really messed up. Nothing's coming out. So let me cut her open. You can see now what's going on. It's slightly damp. There it is. There's not a lot in these part B's.
Okay, maybe I need that backup part B. Let's see if another one's better. Oh, that one's better. Okay. Let's see if I can scrape a little bit more out of that one. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, and then maybe what I can scrape out of this one. Maybe it's overactivated now, I don't know. And there's a bunch like stuck on the top. Let me see if I can knock any of that out. Okay. Now, I know it's not a food maker. I have those planned. And I know you're all excited to see those because those videos still do well for me. So, I think the summer got in the way for me this year. Just a lot of projects around the house and then wanting to be outside and not inside. Doing the longer videos like this one. I mean, the way it's playing out right now, I've got two hours into this video already. Believe it or not, the time I have to stop, I wash, I dry, I come back, I reset. That's about how long this video has taken so far. Perfect. All right. Let me grab another tray. Came out good. There's little particles in there, but I'm just attributing that to age. Ooh, I almost lost that a little bit. Okay, next color. Okay, as you can see now, <laughs> this one is not breaking apart very easy. Let me try the back of the handle here. Wow, it's shaking everything behind me, too. You hear it all shaking in the background? Wow, that could have been why the first one took so long to come apart. Okay, so let's get that in there. Oh, let us not. Let us get the water in. Okay. Now that yellow matches the yellow on the set, so that's kind of cool. Okay. 
Okay. Part now add part A to your experiment. Here goes part A. Mix that till it's got some rubbery like consistency to it. At least one minute though. Okay, this part B looks okay. The bag itself is not as stained as the other bags, but let's just see if anything comes out. And nothing, just a tiny bit. Let us cut her open and extract some of the part B. Would you rather just look at his silly face going up and down? Okay. The yellow. Look at that, it's a nice neon looking yellow. Okay. Now that tablet definitely had some issues, so. Let's hope the last tablet doesn't have those kind of Issues? All right, so last tablet. We're getting there. It takes time. It takes time. I don't know. If I was a kid and had this, I probably would have done the same thing, done every color at one time. I will be back now with the last color tablet. Let's see for my spoon. Last tablet. What do you think? Is it going to be a nice, crunchy, soft tablet, or is it going to be a hard as a rock? Need a jackhammer to break it apart tablet. Let's see. And the answer is, ah, there you go. It's kind of neat now. I see all the colors off to the side. I will show them all to you. I will show you some original gag. Well, a reissue original gag, not going all the way back to the original original gag, but close enough. This is orange glow in the dark. Dissolve, my friend. Dissolve. Yes. You're doing a great job. Great job. It's been washed so many times that original decal is now coming off. 
After I pulled them off the sheet, I said, oh, I should have scanned them. Too late. pushing down. I don't hear any chunky pieces, so I'll just let it dissolve a little more. <laughs> you want to see his head? There he is. We'll call him Mr. Gak, the Gak guy. All you're gonna get for camera time, the cat guy. Part A. Add part A to your gak mixture. It almost kind of matches the color of the orange guy, doesn't it? So a lot of these colors match the set. Okay, hopefully there's enough part B. It's my last part B. I may have to scrape out all the B's. Oh, scrape out the B's. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There's some in there. Quite a bit. Let me cut it and scrape it. Cut it and scrape it. Cut it and scrape it. I'm venturing to guess how long this video is, but... Right now, it's got to be over an hour. Just waiting for that furtive sound, whatever they call it. Gurp it, goop it, gop it. There you go, you can see it just changed. Came off the sides really nice. Okay, I think we got it. That is the last one. It's a really cool, almost pinkish color. There. There's some original gack from the 90s. Fresh made by me. Okay, one last cleanup. That is the last one. I have one pack left of A, so I can't do anything else. I've done every color in the set. I will come back now. If I can get that off my finger. All cleaned up and show you all of the different colors. Okay, here we go. Now a couple things. Here is some gack from 2018. Oh, let me put the set over here. I don't think I'll need it. But it's clean and ready to go. I gotta do a little more detail cleaning on it. So now this is the only one I could find in easy reach of an original remake. Is there such thing as an original remake? I don't know. Let me just say it's not the total vintage 90s one. So it's 
I think it's pretty much the same same mix. I could not find my other collection of Gak. It's in a bin somewhere within my huge collection. Okay, there we go. Eh, let's hope it's still good. The other stuff I grabbed was uh, same era, but it was not good at all. Okay, so here's some some Gak. That's close to what Gak means to me. The smell. The smell. Total Gak. Okay, there you go. Alright, now. That's the reference, right? Here is purple. This was the first one. The glow in the dark. Okay. Then this was the pink one. This is the... Oh no, this is the uh, scented glow in the dark. Yellow. And then the last one they say is orange. Okay. So they're all very gacky. Let me just pick up each one, kind of mix it around. They're all pretty close in consistency. This one's a little stickier now. I mean, that's we'll, we'll attribute that to just the different tablets and everything that I was experiencing. Let's get to this side. Yep. Banana. Glow in the dark. And then the last one I made is this one. They call it orange. All right, so there you are. Let's just turn out the lights quickly so that I can get that glow in the dark and see what's actually gonna glow. So let me do that next. All right, so everything's glowing because of the white plates, but let's see if anything really glows. Let's just put that one there and see if we charge it a little, if it still glows. Ah, it does. Those look like eyes there, like he's speckled. See it? Okay, that one does glow. This one was supposed to be glowing orange, but eh, a little bit. Yeah, it does. It's not holding the charge very well, but it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay, so visually, though, under the black light, it does look pretty cool. Sticky, though. Sticky. That one is a little sticky. But you know what? It comes off your fingers pretty good. All right, so that glows. What was this one? That was the yellow. And then this was the, like the bluish one. Consistency-wise, I think this one feels the best right now. And stretchy-wise. Let's see this one. That's cool, though. They're all pretty neat. All right, so we saw that now. So let me just play a little bit out of the black light. Uh, but while I'm here, let me take the two that were technically supposed to be black light colors. That one. And that one. Okay, let's just turn off the lights again. The black light. Yeah, it's got a very weak glow. Let me see. Let me try switching the camera setting. Hold on. Camera, white balance. No, not white balance. Sorry. Camera, exposure, auto. Okay. Let's see now. Ah. Oh, huge difference. And it's still focusing here. Let's just, let's charge that again. Yeah, when you flip it over, it looks like it changes colors. That's pretty neat. Watch. See that? Might bring the camera down. Okay, here we go. Oh, cool. 
Then the camera goes out of focus, doesn't like it. Pretty neat. Now, interesting, they give you three storage containers, but you can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, seven different colors. Now, I probably will not keep these. I might keep three of them, but I'm not going to store them in the original box. That's so cool. Actually changes pretty neat under the black light. Now will it change like if I put my fingers on it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Come on, get up. Yeah, it does. See it? You're quick about it. Alright, pretty cool properties. Let's look at the other ones now with a normal light so we can enjoy the different colors and textures. I will be right back. Okay, so let's get those out of the way. We'll put them back on their trays. Here, again though, is the newer GAC. Let's compare it to this one. Now this one is definitely uh, stiffer and uh, cleaner looking. This has little pieces in it. It's not as hard. That could just be that that packet B was uh, so used up and had those issues. I don't know. I'm gonna blame it on that. How's that? This stretch is really nice. It's original gag. Let's see what this does. It has the stretch, but it just feels like it needs a little bit more, what you would say, activator. Hmm? All right, let's look at seeing these two. Let me just lay them all out. How's that? Right. The white tabletop. Still pretty colors. Would you agree that they are pretty colors? What is your favorite color? Is this the orange? This was the orange. That's the non scented. Well, it's the only one that's got really color in it, so I'm going to keep that one there, there, okay, how's that? That's pretty cool. Let me just lump them up and see how long it takes for them to flatten down. The purple one, I would say, is the closest one to Gek that I could feel, just by feeling these right here. All right, let's just see. I'll let the camera go for a minute. Okay, now this was off to the side. It did not spread much. Uh, this one spread the least. And I thought this one is the closest one to Gak. So that's what I surmised. Now, maybe letting them sit out, they'll get even more closer to original Gak. But I would say the color sheen is the same. Let me sniff. Okay, deep, deep, deep sniff. Now sniff this. Okay, not as gacky smelling. Let me try another one. That one smells like bubble gum. Bad choice. Well, hmm. I would say it's pretty close, but this has more of a gack smell to it. If you know what gack is and have played with it before, that is what it smells like. Now, can you mix a couple colors together? Let's try. Let's take this one. Let's take this one. And let's take a little of this one. And a little of this one. 
and a little of this one. And let's take a look at it now. Let's just see if we do we do we mix it? Ooh, this is gonna Don't get mad. Okay, here we go. Cool. Cool. Look at that. Let me do this too. Before I forget, I wanna check out these bubblegum machine capsules. Okay, so I could store that in there. They may stay in there. If I was going to store them in the box, I'd probably tape this and then I'd put this in another bag so it would have longevity. If I ever do take the set out again, I can say, look, this is from, this is GAC from 2020 that I made myself. There you go. Okay, that is so cool. Look at the colors in that. Okay, so I'll just finish by playing with that. These will go back on their trays. It's such a nice sheen. Stretch the sheen. Pretty, pretty rainbow color. All right, so what do you think? What do you think of my making gack machine? I'm gonna say it's one of the rarest gack toys Ever. Out of all the ones that I've done. Hardest one. Never knew it existed. Then I saw it and I said, I've got to do this for everybody. I wish Butch was here. He was here for a lot of the GAC videos, but we will be making videos again soon. So tell me what you think. What was your favorite color in all of that? Well, let me pull them all out again. You've got this one. You've got this one. You've got these glow-in-the-dark ones, and a banana one. Okay. And the ones I've put in my little capsules. The purple. Did you like the purple? Did you like the purple? I like that one the best, I think. What do you think? Or did you like my new color? Oh no, we have crossed the gack. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay, now they're all out again. Now you can make your final assessment let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this super long, lengthy video. I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. Okay, you get over here. There. Now you get out of there. Oh, I messed it all up. Okay. No, no, that one touched that. This was bound to happen. You probably wanted to see it anyway, right? Okay, there we go. We'll mix that one out. All right, there's a better look. Yeah, so I do appreciate you taking the time to be with me and hang out and watch this video. All right, what's your favorite color? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me know. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.